Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to remove echo in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you want to remove echo and more and make any microphone sound great with different presets for different filming occasions and different microphones, check out my Adobe Premiere Pro audio presets at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Not only remove echo, but make your audio sound great today with mrc.fm forward slash presets. Here's a little right. clip. Your job today. Isabella speaking there. And as I pan in, I'm using a vlog style microphone attached to the top of a camera. The further away I am, the more echo, especially in a, a big room like a living room. Right. Your job today. So there's a really simple way to remove echo easily inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And you need to search in the effects box. Best to be in the effects workspace here for D reverb. That is the effect you need. And you simply drag and drop it onto the clip in question. It'll appear up here in your effect controls on your audio clip. Click edit. And it's a simple drag slider from zero to 100%. Processing focus should always really be around uh, the flat line unless you know which frequencies you're working with. And as you start to push this up, the echo will disappear magically. Right, your job today. Wow. So at 57%. Right, your job today. That's amazing. Right, your job today. And then with it off. Right, your job today. A lot more echo going on right up at 100%. Why not? Right, your job today. It sounds like she's almost next to the vlog microphone, doesn't it? So really easy to use. Again, use less. Less is definitely more in the case of this effect as it does slightly reduce the quality of the audio you've recorded. So what I suggest to do is play this back and edge this up ever so slightly. Right, your job today. It's the soft and again, going back. Right, your job. Up a bit more. Right, your job today. Make sure it's enabled. Right, your job today. So it's sounding good at 50%. Let's go back down to 32%. Right, your job today. Still hear some echo there, so 44%. Right, your job today. And I'd say 44% is about the sweet spot. We can probably then go through and do a bit of compression, maybe some EQ, further adjustments to this voice, but already it's sounding crisper and clearer. And one really cool thing with the de-reverb effect inside Premiere Pro is that as you go from uh, zero to 100%, you've got something called auto gain here. As long as that is ticked, the more of this uh, preset you apply, uh, the more it reduces the volume of the audio. But with auto gain, ticked, that automatically makes up for things, meaning you just need to get on with your job of removing echo and the plugin will actually take care of the rest. This is all inside Premiere Pro, no third party plugins uh, required. And it's really, really awesome for those awkward pieces of audio you capture numerous times when you're out and about or in rooms where you really can't control uh, the acoustic quality of the space.